guys. So I just wanted to make a quick video uh, here about uh, about my car. I'm just driving my Subaru. I love my Subaru. It's my favorite car in the whole world. You know, uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, but I had a question about uh, turbocharging and people have this age-old question of what turbocharger should I choose for my vehicle? Oh, should I get a 20G or, you know, I was looking at that 1.5 XTR or, you know, maybe I should get, should I just go rotated or, you know, I don't know what to do. People, people always have trouble choosing, you know, something. And then, you know, people say on the forums, just get something and just try it, you know. But from, from my experience, if you have a stock Subaru, a stock motor Subaru, there's no reason why you should be going above a 20G turbo or, you know, running a rotated kit on low boost is not going to be as fun as like just ripping around on a stock turbo and getting that like throttle response and that, that punch that Subarus are known for, you know? When you have, um, I'm driving, trying to drive in video at the same time. That, that doesn't work. When you have uh, a stock turbo, it's so enjoyable. It's snappy. It's the throttle response is there. When you start getting into these bigger turbos, you start running into issues with lag and delay and throttle response. You got all this front mount piping and a bigger turbo, you know, coupled together. You're gonna have a, you're gonna have some some lag there, you know. This car has a, a TDO 520G, and I notice the lag. If you don't know how to drive your car fast, when somebody comes up on you with like one of these badass V8s, they're gonna smoke you because you won't be ready for them. You know, you either got to brake boost, you got to gear down and brake boost your car and it's, you know, it's stupid stuff. I don't want to wreck my car, I love my car. You want to treat it good, right? The other thing with an aftermarket turbo is oil consumption. I've noticed now my car, the engine is healthy and good compression, but it consumes like 500 milliliters of oil roughly every maybe, 1500 kilometers or so so I got a gigantic jug of oil here and I just always check my oil every time I get gas always check one day the oil is on the top of the stick the next fill up the oil is at the bottom of the dipstick so you got to watch you got to be diligent with, with that stuff but back on to the, the turbocharging talk trying to make a decision somebody's asking me what turbo should I choose? And my answer was between a 20G, a 1.5 XDR, and I think, I can't remember what else he said he was gonna choose. But I told him to go with the 1.5 XDR because it's a ball bearing turbo, and this turbo is a journal bearing turbo. And that's where you're gonna get some of that transient uh, response and that street ability I think would be better with a ball bearing turbo, even if you're just running it at low boost. You know, my tuner, is gonna tune any turbo you put on your car at whatever same boost level that the engine is comfortable handling. And that, for most stock Subarus on most dynos, is 350 wheel horsepower. You start pushing it more than that on pump gas, you're gonna, the longevity of your engine is just gonna go down. And like, sure, it'll be a blast to drive for the three months that, you, that you're able to enjoy it, but then after that, it's gonna be shit. So, or you're gonna need a rebuild. And if you have the money for it, it's fine. For me, I don't have the budget to, to rebuild my motor at this time, and I don't have any plans on doing it ever. So, I'm pretty much where I am, and that's probably where I'm gonna stay. But as for choosing a turbo, I would say get a ball bearing, 20g sized turbo oh he said he wanted uh that the, the choice was between a 1.5 xtr 20g xtr and a cob 20g which is what i have in this car now i'm telling you right now the cob 20g 
I only, the only reason why I bought that turbo was for price because at the time I didn't have the money. But you know what? I wish now I would have spent the $2,000 and got the right turbo. Not to knock Cobb. It's a great product. It's a good little turbo. There's no issues with this thing. And I've had this thing on my car for over 40,000 kilometers, making 350 wheel horsepower and 400 torque. This car is an animal. But like I said, if I could do it again, I would probably go with a 20G XTR ball bearing or a 1.5 XTR ball bearing with a 10 centimeter hot side. Because I can tell that this car with a TDO5 turbine is choking on the top end. It, it's a 2.5 liter car should not have a TDO5 turbine paired in any circumstances whatsoever. And that's just, that's my take on it. This is like, this is like a thrown together, whatever you want to call this kind of rant, but I know that this is good information and it's solid information. So if anybody has any questions about, about this, cause I've posted tons of videos, you know, pulls and this and that and stupid stuff on YouTube. But if you have serious questions and you want to know from someone who's done their research and knows their stuff, you ask me. I'm your guy. All right? Thanks for watching.